Hello and welcome to another episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at something we haven't looked at in a long, long time and that is Adobe After Effects. I've had users ask me, hey, can you do something on After Effects? I'm new, I'm in Creative Cloud, I now have access to it and I'd love to learn something about After Effects. Now, I plan to at some point do a how to get started with After Effects as soon as I can kind of figure out how to limit that down to a short video. But in the meantime, I figured I can get you at least somewhat started on something that's pretty easy to do and something that you will find effective, something you can probably use in your photography workflows, as in your videos, or your design where you're trying to animate something, where you want to show it on Instagram or wherever you're showing your videos, on Facebook, wherever, uh, YouTube, Vimeo, wherever. And uh, it will give you that kind of classy effect at the end where you're signing your signature. So with that said, for my professional animators and videographers out there, yes, there are a million ways to use this filter. And you're going to probably say, oh, well, I do it this way. This is not for you. If you already know how to use all this, I'm talking to the people that are just getting started. All right. So in, in that, the effect that I'm going to use, I'm going to do it all in After Effects, even though we can bring in video, we can bring in stills, we can bring in Illustrator and Photoshop files to even make this better, but I'm gonna keep it as simple as I possibly could. I spent like a half hour trying to figure out the simplest way to show you this, and I think I got it. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're gonna do is, of course, launch After Effects. And again, we aren't gonna bring anything in. So when we launch After Effects for the first time, it's gonna just have an empty window since we didn't import any video, we didn't come over from a Premiere Pro timeline, we're just sitting here in After Effects from scratch. So. In After Effects, even though you've got a brand new project, it needs to know a timeline or something you're going to animate on. That's called a composition. So under the composition window, we just go to New Composition. And now this is where you kind of specify what your video format will be. So there are presets here. So if you're doing HD TV at 2997, or you're going to animate to... Um, the web or other other animation presets they're all here so hdtv is kind of a standard 1920 by 1080 at 2997 frames per second now the next thing is how long do you want this to be now this is this is something in video where shorter is all usually always better so in this case think of how long someone wants to sit there watching your signature animate itself being signed you know this might default to 30 seconds commercials are 30 seconds full-blown commercials so you would never want it to be that long i've got it set for five seconds that's probably too long so why don't we go ahead and knock it down to maybe three seconds long even that may be too long but at least three seconds is a good start so one two three your signature would be animated all right so with that said and keep in mind you're gonna have to sign it within three seconds so you gotta be able to set a time frame that's fast enough for you to do it and if you need five seconds and make the video shorter later that's probably a better way to go so let's go ahead and uh, click OK and then that will give us our new composition again with nothing on it because we haven't imported any video stills or anything else and we're not going to so the first thing I need to do is have something that you see the signature on like a background now again I could go file import footage or import files and bring in Photoshop files bring in Illustrator files bring in videos anything I'd want that to animate on but in this case we're just gonna go up to our layer menu we're gonna say new solid so think of a solid inside um, After Effects as like a color layer inside Photoshop so just a solid color layer we can make this any color we want in the spectrum so I'm gonna make it um, kind of a nice dark burgundy red color alright so now um, and we'll, we can even call it background so that way my uh, photo Photoshop users will be more familiar with it so that's our background that's just gonna sit there for our signature to animate on we need another solid so let's go up to our layer menu again new solid and this one's going to be our ink color so whatever color on top of that burgundy you want the signature to be in, that's what color you'd make this. So I'm going to go ahead and make this white in my case, Terry White. All right, you can make it yellow, green, blue, whatever you want. So click OK and just click OK and that will give you a, a blank solid white um, object or um, layer. So now we've got our background layer, 
we've got our ink layer we need one more layer or one more object and that's going to be something in after effects called a null object i just need it i need something to animate since i'm not bringing anything in i'm going to animate this null object which is just simply a square. Null doesn't do anything, doesn't show, it's not really there. It's just a null object. <laughs> okay, so with that said, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the window menu and we're gonna make sure the motion sketch panel is showing. It is not showing by default. So you probably need to go up to window and choose motion sketch and then your motion sketch panel will show up on the right hand side. Once it's there, now we can go in and click Start Capture. Now Start Capture is just not going to do anything until you press the mouse button on your canvas and start signing. Um, and notice the duration is three seconds. So it's saying you've got three seconds to do this, whatever it is you're going to do. Now your signature may be broken up into different words. Terry White. White with a I and a T that needs to be crossed and dotted. Every time you lift your mouse, you've stopped the animation. So, in other words, if I need to sign Terry, stop, and then sign white, that's two animations I need to create. I can't do it all in one motion sketch. I have to do everything with one, stop, do another one, stop, cross the T, that's another one, dot the I, that's another one. So, if I wanted to sign my whole name, that would be at least four animations, because every time I lift up, that's a new animation I'd have to create and start over. Okay, so in this time, since we're just doing an example, I'm just going to sign the word Terry where I don't have to lift up. Okay, so how you do this is, up is, again, your results will vary. I'm using a stylus, a Wacom pen. So that way my signature can be much smoother. I'm even on a Cintiq, which even makes it better. So you can do this with a mouse. You can do it with a trackpad. But your results are not going to be as good because you're limited to the shape and size of your mouse trying to draw smoothly with your hand. So, yes, it can be done with a mouse, trackpad, trackball, or anything else. But I highly recommend for these kind of smooth effects that you do it with a stylus. So, with that said, let's go ahead and grab my pen. And I'm going to start in the upper left-hand corner here. And the minute, the minute I press down the, the stylus or the button, it begins the three-second countdown. So here we go. Done. <laughs> and that was it almost didn't finish it in time because three seconds goes by pretty quick. But you notice the null object move from the center of the screen over to the beginning here. And now in three seconds, it follows what I did with my stylus. So there is my signature on the null object. As a matter of fact, if we twirl down the null object layer and go to transform, we'll see all the keyframes that it did for the position that I didn't have to do manually. Next, I want to go to the ink layer now. Again, just the white box. Or actually, before we go there, why don't we just get rid of the null, we'll, we'll take care of the null object and get, get it out of our way for now. So I'm going to go to the null object. I'm going to click on position to highlight all of those keyframes. And I'm just going to go up to edit and copy or choose copy from the keyboard. Now I can turn off the null object. That's all I needed it for. And we can twirl it back up. Now we're going to go to the ink layer. And on the ink layer, this is where our effect's going to take place. We, it's an effect already in After Effects called write on. So how do we get to the write on effect? Under your window menu, you would go to effects and presets, which I've already got it open over here on the right hand side. And you could find it in the folder that it's in. I don't even know what folder it's in, but it's in one of these folders. But the reason I don't know what folder it's in is because I don't really ever care. I can just always search for it. So just start, start typing in write on, like you're gonna write on something. And there it is. There's the write on filter under the generate folder, by the way. And now I just drag that onto my ink layer anywhere on my ink layer on the canvas but on my ink layer that way I know it's going on the right layer and now it's been applied to that layer now I can twirl down the ink layer twirl down the effects layer or effects um, twirl down twirl down the right on and what I want to happen is make sure that my playhead is back at the beginning and I want to animate the brush position so I turn on that stopwatch and while brush position is highlighted edit paste that will paste in all the keyframes that you animated while you were on a null object 
So now they're pasted on for the brush position of the right on effect to move with your hand that you did earlier. Now, the only other thing we need to do are two things. One, we need to make our brush size bigger. Two, two points or pixels is not enough. So let's start off with maybe 10. We can make it bigger or smaller as we go. And last but not least, and this is the magic to making this work, I want the right on effect to reveal the layer that it's on. So it's on this empty white solid. I want it to reveal it in the shape of the brush. So on uh, where it says paint style on original image, we're gonna change that to reveal original image. So the white disappears because the paint will reveal it now, the right on effect. So now if we uh, deselect and we just hit our space bar to play, there it is. Now, there are a couple things I don't like about it. Here, let's let it finish. Um, number one, I don't like the dots. What's that all about? How come it's not solid lines? Well, it based on the spacing, it thinks it, it can or should skip based on how you drew it. Well, you can control that. You can say, no, no, no. I don't want a spacing of 0 0.010. I'm going to dial that down just by dragging on it to nothing. So I get no spacing whatsoever. Last but not least, the other thing is if your brush stroke is too thick or too thin, you can adjust it while you're looking at it. So if you want it thinner, you can make it thinner. If you want it thicker, you can make it thicker. So with that said, I now have my animated Terry sign in three seconds. Now, it will play it back in real time once it's rendered. And there we go. So if I needed to do the L, middle initial, and a white, and a dot, and a T, I'd make new uh, animations for all those and then put them all together so it signs the whole thing. So maybe I'd make this one smaller and then uh, add the other ones onto it so it signs them in sequence. But you get the idea. Now, once we're done with this, of course, we want to export this out. So we would go up to our file menu and we would simply choose export, add to the render queue, um, which would tell After Effects to bring up um, Adobe uh, Media Encoder, add it to the queue where you can change any settings you want or tell it how you want it output it. So if you wanted it output it for the web or Apple TV or YouTube or whatever, you can have it animated for those um, uh, the formats or if you just want the HD version you can tell it to animate for HD and then use it anywhere you want now of course it's a video so you can take this and put it inside any other application you could have made your composition square if you want to put it on Instagram you could do all kinds of things now that you kind of getting the idea of at least a little bit of After Effects if you think of After Effects as Photoshop with motion and you can bring in Photoshop files with their layers and animate the layers and then add things on top of it as we've done here. After Effects opens up a whole new world. And as a Creative Cloud member, you've got access to it, so why not take advantage of it? So with that said, I hope this gave you a little bit of how to get going with After Effects, at least for the simple uh, animation we've done here. Again, my professional animators, you guys know a million different ways you can do the same thing. We can apply lightning to it so it's carving it in stone and doing all kinds of cool things, but that's totally up to you. This is an old effect I used to do back in the day, and I thought I'd show it now for people that are just now getting into Creative Cloud and maybe have never touched After Effects. Hope you learned something, and we'll catch you on the next one.